Yo, what's up guys? Andy from Tab Lab here. Today we're talking about Tron blockchain. I'm gonna show you how to calculate how much energy you need for a transaction or how much Tron will be burnt during a transaction if you don't have TRX frozen for energy. Before we get into it, uh, I have all kinds of Tron videos on my channel. If you wanna learn how to use Tron, how it all works, how the Tron link wallet works and all sorts of stuff like that. But basically you can freeze Tron and gain energy. And once you've done that, you'll be able to vote for representatives and get free rewards daily, and you'll be able to get free transactions. Like I said, check out my other videos if you don't understand what that means. And if you don't wanna freeze Tron, for energy, it will just burn TRX from your wallet every time you do a transaction. So a lot of the questions I get is like, how much energy do I need or how much TRX is it gonna burn? So here's what you need to do. Pretty much any transaction or any contract that you interact with, this could also be like a swap or whatever. You just gotta go to their contract. So this is just one that I'm on right now because of look through this recently, but you could do this for just swap or any exchange or whatever. You wanna to go to their contract. So this is Tron scan. It's gonna show all of the information about the blockchain, every transaction that ever happened. So these are the transactions for this contract. And we can click on any transaction right here. Here's the hash number. And it's gonna tell us the information about this transaction. So we can scroll down here. And we want to see the energy consumed each transaction also uses bandwidth but you get that for free and most people aren't going to use all of their bandwidth per day so we're most concerned about energy so from my understanding the research that i've done every transaction will use a different amount of energy based on the complexity of the transaction and these can fluctuate a little bit per each time the transaction is done. So this one uses 289,000 energy. So if you want a free transaction, you need to freeze enough TRX to cover this amount. And that's gonna replenish daily. You can see that this person didn't freeze any energy and it burned about 40 TRX from their wallet. If it doesn't show the amount of TRX, you can simply copy this number right here. This is the amount of energy, 289,000. Go to tronstation.io slash calculator. Look right here. This is the amount of energy per TRX that's currently being burnt. So go to the calculator, paste the amount of energy, divide that by this number right here, 7142. It'll show us that about 40 TRX will be burnt which is exactly what we see right here. So that's how to calculate it. You could go to any contract, look at their transactions, and just see how much TRX is being burnt for that transaction. If it doesn't show, just look at the energy and do the calculation. And if you don't wanna worry about any of this, just freeze a whole bunch of TRX, and then you'll get energy, and you won't ever have to worry about transaction fees ever again. But there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful. Be sure to drop a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll try and answer those. Like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.